right, our monitor is taking us live to NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where the search for life in space is on. Any moment now, we're going to see the launch of the Europa Clipper, the spacecraft set to travel 1.8 billion miles to reach Jupiter by April of 2030. Takeoff was postponed last week during, due to Hurricane Milton, but today we are hoping for no delays. Clear skies. CBS News consultant Bill Harwood has been covering the U.S. space program for us since 1984, including 129 space shuttle missions. He joins us now. Bill, thanks so much for being with us. The Europa Clipper was set out to conduct a detailed study of Jupiter's moon Europa, as it's called where there is scientific evidence that life may exist. What are scientists hoping to learn from this particular mission? Well, first of all, before we get into that, uh, just advising you that we're now a minute and 20 seconds or so from okay. launch, and they are looking at Prompter an issue, a uh, temperature issue on the second stage of the rocket, so we're going to have to wait and see how that plays out. Uh, but Europa, they're not looking for life specifically. They're trying to see if this undersea ocean below the icy crust of Europa provides a habitable environment for life. In other words, could life exist in that environment? These boosters it's a very interesting outside, question because it appears before. that there are numerous moons and small worlds that feature water below the surface out there in the solar system and in deep space around other star systems. So it's a, it's a really interesting mission and it's something that a lot of scientists have been looking forward to for years. Yeah, and Bill, what are scientists looking for that will help them better understand what's happening on our own planet? Well, you know, the evolution of the solar system, how all the planets came to be, is a very mysterious thing. I mean, they've got theories and ideas, but by studying small worlds like Europa, they can extrapolate to the larger planets like Earth and beyond. So uh, it, it really has a pay a, 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 a variety of dividends in science for planetary formation, but really the focus is on Europa and that ocean. They think that that ocean has more than twice the amount of water than all of Earth's oceans put together. And I'm going to stop there. We're now inside 10 seconds to launch. All right, we'll, we'll watch that launch with us live. You must 15 seconds and counting. And here we go. 10, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff. Lift off a Falcon Heavy with Europa Clipper, unveiling the mysteries of an enormous ocean lurking beneath the icy crust of Jupiter's moon Europa. Engine chamber pressures are nominal. See the chamber pressures from all those here. All 27 Merlin engines look great. Rocket beginning to roll, putting down 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Up, they're going to back off those engines just a bit. So we're getting ready to head into max, max power and telemetry nominal. Here, the power and telemetry on the vehicle are good. There, everything's looking uh, really Falcon well. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. They have uh, reduced power in the center core uh, to get through maximum max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the launch vehicle as we approach that, the two side boosters at full throttle. A beautiful shot there is our camera team. Max Q. Locking into the rocket on a clear blue sky. The view from the booster cam back down on Earth. And there we heard the call for Max-Q. The vehicle is passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Uh, next thing up in about two minutes will be a booster engine cutoff where we see the two side booster engines, all 18, shut down and get ready for booster separation. But the vehicle is performing very well. Looking at all the telemetry that we have, uh, power and trajectory are nominal. We've been flying for just under two minutes so far. Everything looking good? Wow, Bill, whenever I see these launches, I mean, you've seen so many of them, you still get goosebumps. I'm just Beside curious boosters, what your reaction was to this launch. Job, they will be expended. You know, the Falcon Heavy is the, the most Falcon powerful Heavy, rocket that's that operational right now for SpaceX. And man, it puts on a show. Launches, you know, we're a couple of miles from the launch pad here at our CBS Bureau, but I was watching Europa the lights in this room and they're all shaking. It's like an earthquake. 
<laughs> when that shock wave from that engine ignition reaches our building, it's, it's an utterly unique feeling. It's one of those things that uh, you should tell people uh, that TV just can't here. show it. It really, you got to be there, and it is, it is absolutely something to see. Yeah, it's something you see, and for you, you, you actually really feel uh, that rocket launch. Very well. Pretty spectacular. Uh, All right, CBS News absolutely. consultant Bill Harwood, thanks so much. Wow, that was amazing.